Hello all, welcome back to Public Connects. In this video, we are going to understand how to automatically generate follow-up emails with Google Gemini. So with here, I'm a customer experience manager at a skincare product company. And now we are recently launching a new product. So I've sent the product samples to all my loyal customers for their valuable feedbacks. And now I want that as soon as I receive their valuable feedbacks, automatically with the help of Google Gemini, I want to detect that if that feedback is a positive or a negative one. And then further, I want to send them the follow-up email accordingly. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between email parser, Google Gemini and then Gmail. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically generate follow-up emails with Google Gemini. So as you know that I'm a customer experience manager at Natural Glow Skincare and I've recently launched a new face mask and sent these samples to our loyal customers for their feedbacks. So after receiving their responses, I wanted to ensure that they feel appreciated for their input. So to do this, we are going to create an automation so that as soon as a new feedback is received on our Gmail, automatically a follow-up mail should be sent thanking my loyal customers for their valuable feedback. So to do this, I've already opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in right over here. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And now it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automation and I want to name my workflow as how to automatically generate follow-up emails with Google Gemini and then we are going to click on create and now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this. Trigger means when this happens. An action means do this. So by this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application which is email parser because I want that as soon as a new mail is received through my Gmail, automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for email parser right over here and then we are going to select it and now for the trigger event we are going to select it as new email and now it is giving me an email so we are going to use this email to create a connection so i'm going to copy this email and then we are going to open our gmail account and over here you can see that this is my gmail account from here we are going to go on settings and then see all settings and over here you can see we are going to go on forwarding and pop slash imap so i'm going to open this and as you can see add for forwarding address so i'm going to click on this and now it is asking me to add the email address so i'm going to paste the email address we copied from our workflow and then we are going to click on next and now it is asking me for the verification so i'm going to do this verification first and now after completing my verification you can see forwarding mail to this so i'm going to click on proceed and as yes, you can see a confirmation link has been sent to this to verify the permission. So I'm going to click on OK and now we are going back to our workflow. And over here you can see that we have received the response and in this response we are going to receive the confirmation link. So I'm going to scroll and look for the response and then we are going to look for the body text and as you can see body text right over here. So I'm going to expand this body text and over here you can see the link. So I'm going to copy this link right from here and then we are going to paste this same link in a new tab. So I'm going to copy this and then we are going to open this right over here. And now after opening this link, it is saying, please confirm forwarding mail of this email address to this. So I'm going to click on confirm right over here. And yes, you can see confirmation success. So we have successfully completed this setup. So now I'm going back to my Gmail and over here we are going to refresh this page. And yes, you can see over here is a new option, forward a copy of incoming mail to this. So I'm going to select this and over here from the drop down, I'm going to select keep a mail copy in the inbox too. So I'm going to select all of this and then we are going to click on save changes. And now as 
and as we are going to click on save changes yes we have successfully completed this connection so now i'm going back to my workflow and over here we are going to recapture this response because i want to capture the response of the mail received so now we are going to do the test submission and to do the test submission i'm going to open my another gmail account and from this gmail account i'm going to compose a mail so i'm going to send the mail from the gmail account so i'm going to select the email address first and now for the subject i want the subject to be feedback on the new mask and the body of the mail would be this dear natural glow skincare team and the rest of the positive feedback yes i hope this email finds you well i have recently tried the new face mask and the positive experience feedback and after doing all of this we are going to click on send and we are going to send this mail and yes you can see message sent so i'm going to click on view message and yes you can see that we have successfully sent this message so now i'm going to open my workflow and check that if pablis captured the response of this new mail or not so i'm going to open my workflow and yes you can see that pablis has captured the response of this new mail over here you can see the subject to of the mail so yes with this our trigger step is successful and now we are moving on to our action step so for our action application first we are going to set a condition right over here so for that i'm going to search for filter by pablis and then we are going to select it so it is a feature by pablis which helps you to set up conditions in your workflow and now for the action event we are going to select it as filter values and then we are going to click on connect and as you can see that now it is asking me to select the label so i'm going to select it as the subject so i'm going to search for subject and as you can see feedback on new face mask so i'm going to select this and now for the filter type i'm going to select it as contains so i want that if the label contains feedback then only this workflow should run further so i'm going to enter feedback right over here in the value manually and then it has become feedback on the new face mask filter type contains feedback and then we are going to click on save and send test request and yes you can see status success and over here is message is condition is true because we have the subject as feedback of the new face mask so yes with this we are going to add another action step right over here for that i'm going to click on this plus button and now for the action application we are going to select it as google generative ai so i'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as generate content and then we are going to click on connect and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your google generative ai account with your pavli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the api key so to get this api key we are going to read the help text and it is saying enter the api key here to obtain the api key log into your google ai studios and go to get api key section so i'm going to log into the studio for that i'm going to click on this hyperlink provided right over here so as soon as you are going to open the hyperlink it is opening my google ai studio So now after opening my Google AI Studio from here you can see the model is Gemini 1.5 Pro over here you can see get API key so we are going to click on this get API key and now over here you can see that I have created few API keys already but I'm going to create a new for that we are going to click on create API key right over here and now it is asking me to select the Google Cloud project so I'm going to select it as Pavli testing so I'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now we are going to click on create API key in existing project and now you can see that we have successfully generated a new api key so i'm going to copy this api key and then we are going to paste this api key right over here in our workflow and after pasting this api key we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that we have successfully connected our google generative ai account with our pablis workflow and now it is asking me for the text so we have we are going to enter the prompt which we want to give to our google gemini so i'm going to keep the prompt as tell me if this feedback is positive or negative and over here in front of this you are going to map the feedback received from the customer so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected email passa as a trigger application so you are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application or the previous application only so as soon as you are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so i'm going to give you an example let over here in front of this if i'm going to enter the feedback manually suppose x y z right over here so let's suppose that this is my feedback and i've entered it manually then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if i'm going to map it from the previous response suppose i'm going to search for body text right over here and as you can see the body text received from the customer so if i'm going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change with every new response received because this is a dynamic information and i've mapped it so that's why we do mapping to run our workflow in real time and now it is asking me for the model so i'm going to select the model as gemini pro and then we are going to wait and then it is asking me for the methods so i'm going to select it as generate content and then we are going to click on save and send test request 
And yes, you can see that we have received the response from the Google Gemini, which says positive. So Google Gemini says that this positive feedback. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed this action step. And now we are going to add another action step. So now what I want this, I want to send two different mails, one for the positive feedback and one for the negative feedback. So to do this, we are going to search for router right over here. So router is a feature by Pabli, which helps you to create the routes in your workflow. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as conditionally run, and then we are going to click on connect and as you can see that now it has automatically generated me the two routes so now we are going to rename the route so for the route one i'm going to rename it as positive feedback so i'm going to enter it and then we are going to click on update and yes you can see that we have successfully renamed this route and now i'm going to click on see filter and action steps right over here and now you can see that it is asking me to select the label so i'm going to select the label from the response of my google generative ai over here we are going to select the label as positive and then for the filter type we are again going to to select it as contains so i want that if the label contains positive so i'm going to enter positive right over here again and after entering this we are again going to click on save and send test request right over here and as you can see status success message condition is true so yes our feedback was positive that's why this condition is true so now we have successfully set it up the condition and now we are going to add the action step so i want to add gmail right over here because i want to send a mail to my customer so i'm going to search for gmail and then we are going to select it and now we are going to scroll for the action event so we are going to select the action event as sent email v2 and then we are going to click on connect and as you can see again it is asking me for the same add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your gmail account with your Pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with gmail and now as you can see that after selecting my gmail account it is asking me for some permissions so i'm going to click on allow and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. So I'm going to click on allow right over here. And as soon as we are going to click on allow, you can see that we have successfully connected our Gmail account with our Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me for the recipient email address. So we are going to map this again. So I'm going to open the response and over here you can see the email address. So I'm going to map this email address and then we are going to move on forward. And as you can see that now it is asking me for the sender's email address. So I'm going to keep it as same only. Then we are going to move on forward. It is asking me for the sender's name. So I want the sender's name to be the name of my company. So I'm going to enter it right over here. And now after entering the sender's name, we are going to move on forward. It is asking me for the email subject. So I want the email subject to be thank you for your feedback on new face mask. And then we are going to move on forward. It is asking me for the reply to. So as you can see that this is not the required field. So I'm going to leave it as blank. And now it is asking me for the email content type. So I'm going to keep it as plain only. We are going to move on forward. It is asking me for the email content. So I want the email content to be dear customer name. So we are going to map the name of the customer. I'm going to search for the display name and as you can see the name of the customers we are going to map it and now it is thank you so much for your wonderful feedback on our new face mask and the rest of the mail and over here you can see that i mapped the name because i wanted to send the personalized mail to all my customers so now after doing all of this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the file name and the attachment so as you can see both of these fields are not the required so i'm going to leave it as blank and now it is asking me for the label id so i'm going to select it as inbox only and now it is asking me for the signature so as you you can see that this field is also not the required field but if you wish you can definitely add a signature right over here just by switching on this mapping button and after doing all of this we are going to click on save and send this request and yes you can see that we have received the response that we have successfully sent the mail so i'm going to open my gmail and then we are going to check for the mail sent so i'm going to open the gmail and then we are going to go back in the inbox and yes you can see natural glow thank you for your feedback on the new face mask and over here you can see the mail received so yes with this our this route is successful so i'm going to close this route and over here we are going to do same for the negative feedback too so i'm not going to repeat the whole step and again and again i'll just clone this step so i'm going to go on this and then we are going to click on clone and over here you can see clone this route so we are going to click on yes we are going to clone so here we are going to click on clone and as you can see that we have successfully cloned this so i'm going to delete this route to first and now we are going to rename this clone positive feedback as negative feedback so i'm going to rename it right over here and then we are going to click on update and yes you can see negative feedback so i'm going to open this and yes, you can see that because we clone this step, already the value exists, but I'm going to change a little right over here. So over here, we are going to map the same positive feedback, but over here in the filter type contains, we are going to select it as negative. So I'm going to enter negative right over here because this is a static information. So I'm going to enter it manually only. And after entering this, we are going to click on save and send test request. 
and yes you can see status error condition is false because the feedback was positive in our response but sometimes you are going to receive the negative feedback also that's why we are going to create this automation for both the feedbacks and now we are going to open this gmail step and over here you can see that we have mapped the receptant email address so i'm going to keep it as same only and then we are going to move on forward and as you can see that it is asking me for cc and bcc so these were not the required field we are directly going to move on forward for the email subject and the body content and as you can see that we are going to replace this email subject and the email content too so i'm going to erase the previous email subject and now we are going to enter the new because this is the follow-up email that we are sending for the negative feedback so i'm going to enter it which is this we appreciate your feedback on our new face mask then we are going to move on forward for the email content again we are going to change this so i'm going to erase this we are going to enter the new email content as this and again we are going to map the customer's name right over here so i'm going to search for it right over here in my previous step so i'm going to search for display and as you can see the name so i'm going to map it again and after mapping the name it has become dear ashirai and now over here is the rest of the mail we want to send to the negative feedback so now after entering this email content we are going to move on forward it is again asking me for the file name attachment and all of these so i want all of these to remain same so i'm not going to change this and directly we are going to click on save and send test request and yes you can see that we have successfully set it up this route too so now with this we have successfully completed our workflow but now i'm going to test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so to do this i'm going to open my gmail and over here we are going to send another mail so i'm going to send the mail for the negative feedback and the positive feedback both to check for the new responses received so for the receptant i'm going to enter the receptant and then for the subject i'm going to enter the subject as this and then for the body i'm going to keep it as this so this is the negative feedback as you can see that the customer is saying the texture was too thick of the face mask so yes now i'm going to send this feedback and yes you can see sending message sent so we have successfully sent this message to to our natural glow skincare team so now we are going to wait for few seconds and this means that we have successfully did the test submission and now gmail has sent this mail to our workflow publicly captured the response to good the workflow for the google gemini detected that this is a positive or a negative feedback and now if this is a positive feedback then we are going to receive that mail and if this is a negative feedback we are going to receive the mail accordingly customer is saying i found that the product did not meet my expectations so as you can see that this is the negative feedback so we are going to go back in the inbox and check for the negative feedback reply so i'm going to open my inbox and yes you can see we appreciate your feedback on a new face mask dear ashirai thank you for taking the time to share the feedback on new face mask we are sorry to hear that your experience did not meet our expectations so yes we have successfully sent the mail for the negative feedback also and over here you can see the mail sent for the positive feedback so yes with this our workflow is successful and i'll just summarize the work flow for you once so for the trigger application we selected email parser for the trigger event we selected new email because i wanted that as soon as the new mail is received automatically my workflow should be triggered and then for the action first we selected filter right over here but i selected filter because i wanted that this workflow should run for the only if the feedback related mail is received so that's why i selected the label as subject and i want that if the subject contains the word feedback then only this workflow should run for the then we added another action step which is google generative ai and then for the action event we selected generate content because i wanted to know that if this is a positive feedback or a negative feedback and now after we got to know that with the help of our google generative ai we created two routes in our workflow one for positive feedback and one for negative feedback to send two different mails and yes we were successful with our workflow so if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope you like the video thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching